I was approached by the National Boricua Human Rights Network because uh, finally they were getting to them that they needed to do something else and they needed to expand what they were doing, getting out. And I was invited to them. Uh, I meeting with them to think and I proposed the idea of this exhibit uh, uh, about telling the story of uh, the two remaining po po Puerto Rican political prisoners. We developed a financial plan, a marketing plan for that the entire uh, exhibit and and, uh, and we presented and they approved and they, they committed to fundraise this money and, and, and the exhibition started taking off. It was a lot of people involved, but the, the brain of this uh, exhibit, uh, uh, I would say it was Alejandro Molina. He's a Mexican-American that he's so committed to the struggle of Puerto Rican independence and always been. Uh, that is a, 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 one more of these figures that is working and, and dedicating their life to to, to the prisoners' uh, release. Uh, they have this really tight relation between them. He talked to them every almost every week on the phone. But I said, uh, 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 talk about my frustrations, and, and I hear Alejandro respond to me, um, say, "Why are you doing? Why are you doing this?" And saying. I was just in blank, and, and I asked him back, well, why are you doing it? I say, because this is going to free them. And at, at that point, it, I just answered back to him, do you really think that this exhibit is going to free Carlos Alberto and, and Oscar? He said, well, why would I be doing this if I don't believe that? <laughs> at that point, I realized that I had to take that that uh, line of approach, uh, every time that I work in a project, really I have to believe it. Not, uh, it's not it's no sense of why yeah. I like to be working. The exhibit basically presented it open with a, basically a chronology of the life of uh, uh, Oscar and Carlos Alberto uh, before getting into jail. Photographs and work. Uh, on, during, on the daily life with their family, on the, the work in the church, and um, with the work and, uh, on the school. Uh, Oscar dressed and, because he served for the U.S. Uh, Army. Uh, I wanted to not just to present the same information, I wanted to, to, to go through the process and decide by myself what I wanted to present on the exhibit. I made a... Um, a plan to make an experience uh, for people to to, to step into a, uh, a space on where a cell, the confines of the cell, uh, will be a, a mark on the floor and, 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 and realize uh, what we have been living in, in for two years on, on isolation in a space of that size. And to me, it was really telling to see people that will walk out from the street and not believe at first, uh, say, but this don't make any sense. Uh, you're telling me that they were not able to prove anything, that the only charge is a seditious conspiracy, that these two old men are just a threat because speak about Puerto Rican independence. Uh, and, and some... Uh, seeing that type of... Uh, for the struggle and uh, by people that were not even Puerto Ricans in, in pro and in defense of the Puerto Rican uh, uh, nationalist movement was really touching. Uh, it was it was incredible.